Finally, it's time for Ghosts and Friend Dogs. Friend Dogs in the morning. In the morning. Live, 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 live. In four hour recording studio. Recording. Wake your ass up, it's the next trending in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Cox and Crendor in the morning. Welcome back to our show, everyone. Greetings. How are you today? Are we going to wait for them to respond? Because if we do, it's going to take a while. Yeah. Yeah, we we really didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? I was just what? looking back through the archives. Uh -huh. We started this fine program three years ago. I think like a month from now. You know what? We need to have an anniversary, a three-year anniversary. What do you What do you get for someone when they're when it's their three-year anniversary? Hold on, let me look this up. A divorce. <laughs> hey, oh. <laughs> hey. Three-year anniversary gift. I feel like you'd get. Uh, Hallmark yeah. has Hallmark has gifts by year. So, oh, gifts. Crendor. Anniversary gift. The third, the t traditional third-year anniversary leather. If anyone wants to send Crendor and I leather gifts. Leather. <laughs> 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 if you just want to send us some leather, you know. All right, good, good, leather. Yeah, if you guys want to send. Know. Here's the crazy thing. All right. First year is paper. That's yeah, when you're paper. like, you know what? We've been together a year. Honestly, it doesn't, it doesn't yeah. matter. Pa but it says also modern clocks. Yeah, so if you want to be a modernist, which who does, <laughs> your first year is a clock. You get a clock, which is, this is... Counting down the remaining years of your life before you die, <laughs> stuck to the same person. So it's a solid reminder of what marriage is. <laughs> then, second year, cotton is your second traditional gift. Yeah. Which That's when you get clothes and stuff. Which to me is, that makes no sense. <laughs> so yeah, you get, you get clothes. Then you get leather. And then, your fourth year, the one that seems totally out of place, fruit. Right. <laughs> fruit and flowers. Like, that seems what? like it'd be the first year. Right? It, maybe after paper, because paper is easier to come by yeah. than fruit and flowers. That's but true. I feel like that should be at least the second. Maybe that's a six-month anniversary. Well, says, like, I bought you some fruit. The thing is, the second modern one is China. Now, is that referring to the country? <laughs> no, the dishes. Or the, oh, <laughs> the dishes. <laughs> It's not saying go to China. The second well. tradition, modern anniversary. After you got your clock, you go to China. 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 Uh, wait, then then it goes. Your fifth anniversary traditionally is wood. You give them a wood product of some sort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wood. And then here's the crazy thing: sixth, candy or iron. Huh? Candy or iron. That's a very <laughs> right? broad. Like, that is very like, broad. Well, you could get candy or iron. Like, what I, do they mean by iron? Do they mean like things made of iron? Do they mean yes? The iron I think they vitamin? mean something made of. Because then it goes seventh anniversary. Foods traditional high wool, in iron. Copper. I. You know what this? I think this is why they start splitting it. Why? Because This is. This seems like one of those like. Downton Abbey kind of deals where you have one family that's super like, oh, we're the hoity toities. And then you mm -hmm. have another family that's that's like, we're the pouring McPorringtons, right? And so, yeah. this is one of those if you don't have money, buy them candy. If you do <laughs> have the money, get them iron. Because if you look down the list, eighth is pottery bronze. So, if you can't afford bronze, get them a pot. If, uh, you, if you start looking through these numbers, you start getting some like weird realizations like, uh, we look through 16 is coffee and tea. So, right, they're together 16 years. They're probably either trying to stay awake to take care of their kids <laughs> or they're drinking tea to relax. Can I also like, point shit, out an another amazing thing is the yeah. modern stops at year 15. Yes. So <laughs> they don't even expect you to last 15 years. <laughs> that shit ain't even going to happen. And they're like... 17 there's like wine you're gonna need yeah. that and Get there's wine. like appliances like the old ones got old uh then you get you keep going down the line 21 like year 21 theme fire <laughs> fire you're just well, gonna either burn you're burning them. the relationship up or your relationship is rekindling into a flaming fire mm-hmm 
maybe that's the year they're like, shit, dude. Maybe. We're just like, we're just really getting that flame again, you know? You know what the best part then. is? Things just keep repeating. Yeah, they like, do. Like you're iron 19, at 33. Yeah, if you make it to 19, you get jade. But also, <laughs> if you make it to 35 years, you get jade again. Because by that point, you've already <laughs> forgotten what your 19th anniversary was like. <laughs> Like, yeah, let's give him Jade again. <laughs> I just want the 33rd. It's like, ah, uh, iron again. Yes. 39th? 39th? Laughter. 39th <laughs> is laughter. It's like, can you believe we made it this long? Holy shit. I can't believe we made it this long. 41, buy him a desk. Yep. Get him a desk. 44. If you've been married 44 years, electronics? <laughs> what? <laughs> 53 is plastic. <laughs> you want That's the bag plastic. you put them in because they're dead now. Because who, who do you know has been married 53 years? I Actually, I think my grandparents. Were married 53 years? I think they're at 57. Holy shit. That, their theme is night. <laughs> they're at, that's, it's very night now. Very true. Was night. Very night. The darkness ever creeping <laughs> in. <laughs> then once it hits sixty, that's it. It's like you get a diamond, diamond. and there's diamond, nothing after it. that. Yeah. Once you hit sixty, enjoy that diamond because you don't get shit after that. <laughs> Sixty-one should be hope. Nope, that's fifty-eight. Yeah, Fuck. that's fifty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Hallmark. Yeah, thanks, Hallmark. You figured it all out. <laughs> Plastic. I can't believe 53 <laughs> years of marriage and you get plastic. <laughs> That's like, it's just plastic you find in your food, probably. It's like, I fed plastic in my hamburger. They're like, ah, oh, yeah, sorry about Happy that. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Here's a coupon. You've been with McDonald's for 53 years of your life. <laughs> Happy anniversary. So, uh. Yeah, how do, how do we get on that subject? I said we've been doing this show three years. Ah, uh, so anniversary. Yeah, leather. I've send us up, leather. Uh, yeah, send us leather. I've been uploading the backlog of podcasts onto YouTube. Good, So good. if you'd rather watch them on YouTube, go over there. I'm almost caught up. Some guy sent me a message that was like, I think someone's illegally stealing your podcast. And I was like, what? And I went to look, go look and it was just you. I was like, oh. Yeah. It's just me. It's just Credor. I'm I'm doing it. I'm no I one. Own... No one's out there illegally stealing this podcast. <laughs> no one wants to steal this podcast. YouTube.com slash Cox and Crendor podcast, or you can go to YouTube.com slash Cox and Crendor if you want animations. Yo, there's a new one on the way. Danny is already working on it. The, the Patreon I hasn't even started up. He's already it. working on it. I saw the preview of it, and it's some great A stuff. That's some high quality. It's apparently you torturing Donald Duck. Is that what it looked like? It's it's something. I didn't even see that part, but I saw the first like half of it, and that's. Really oh, you've good. seen? Oh, I haven't seen any of the video. He's yeah. showing you secrets. Yeah, dude. Man, I'm jealous. It's good. So yeah, good stuff. that's coming along very nicely. Yeah. Sweet oh my doing. goodness. What have I been doing? Um, man, I went to TwitchCon this past weekend. Oh. That was an event. <laughs> was it everything I figured it would be? Well. Imagine a better version of VidCon, but still being VidCon. I see. Yeah, it's kind of like VidCon's more like a bunch of fans going to see YouTubers. This is like a bunch of fans going to see Twitch people, but the Twitch people also go to see Twitch people. Yeah, I think it's less fans. Like, a great example is all the panels I was at, and you know that when we do panels, we pack those rooms, dog. We pack those rooms. We pack it. All the panels that I was at that I either went to watch or I went to go uh, be a part of were... Some people on the panels with me that I feel like are way more popular on Twitch than I am. Yeah. And every crowd was half full. Didn't matter if I was in the audience or on stage, every crowd was half full. And I was <laughs> like, what? Why is this? And it didn't hit me till later that the vast majority of the audience there was people who just... Everyone thought of themselves as a streamer. Like, no yeah. one went to this as just a fan to go see people they enjoy. They went to it as... I'm a streamer, how can I make my channel grow? So instead of sitting around watching panels, everyone was at, like, down the show floor, wheeling and dealing, talking to people, uh, playing yeah, the games. Right. It was a lot of that. And I, it's not necessarily a bad thing, because that's pretty much what TwitchCon should yeah. be for, but it's one of those things where if you're going to, like, I'm going to meet all my fans, and it's going to be super duper, uh, you're probably not. <laughs> you're probably going to be wasting your time if you're going to 
Make it like, like a fan my meetup. Stream boy four five four here, and I'm like, I got two thousand followers. You know, I'm just trying to connect here, and I'll connect with Stream Man fifty two. That was every single uh, panel we were at. Every panel, <laughs> the person wouldn't like say what they're. Yeah, hey, my name is uh, Dave's Destruction, and uh, I just have a question. Like, all right, cool. My name's Black Wolf. Three eight six. Uh, yeah, one guy. One guy had the best. It was like the most Reaper name I've ever heard, <laughs> and it it didn't even have any numbers at the end of it. It was like my name's Death Watch. And I was like, oh <laughs> shit! How'd that guy get that name? Like that my dude's name a is badass. Mighty Falcon. Mighty Falcon. Yeah, Mighty Falcon. <laughs> what That's are you, my Twitch name? What do you stream? My what do you name. stream, Mighty Falcon? I stream bird watching. Specifically <laughs> Falcons. <laughs> Mighty Falcons, Mighty not the weak Falcons. ones. <laughs> I just, I can imagine a guy holding his, like with binoculars that have like little GoPro lenses on the end. And he's like, "Oh yeah, that's a mighty falcon. That falcon right there, that's a mighty one." And just like zooming in on his ball, I like falcon balls. He's like, "Oh yeah, that's oh a mighty God. falcon." And they just create a bird watching category on like creative. If they can create a category that's just people eating shit, dude, they can make that. There's the Korean channel on the Twitch creative, EXBC. Easily one of the best Twitch channels ever. Uh huh. All they do is they go around Korea, they uh-huh. eat food, and then when they get subscriptions or donations, they dance in public. And that's it. And they do that Here's for like hours. Here's my problem with that. It, hours. It, they, every day. They basically are the summation of what I think Twitch is. People <laughs> <laughs> hardcore pandering for like... It, Twitch is essentially a dude playing the cello on the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's basically what Twitch is. And then people, he's like, mwah, 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 give me money. Mwah, 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 right? And that's <laughs> yeah. Twitch. And you just have to, once you learn to accept that, you can appreciate Twitch much, much more. Yeah. And and then get into it yourself and be like, thanks for the donations, do me 22, and everything will be fine. But Exactly. That's why yeah. these people are amazing. <laughs> amazing. I've given That's why them they're amazing. three months of my subscription money and a donation just to see them dance. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. You're p- Grendor, you're paying these Asian kids to dance. <laughs> yeah, you're ba- you're basically living, <laughs> you're basically living like an old Southern plantation owner's dream. Like, here are some money, dance for me. You're, ba- you're <laughs> yeah, that's what you are right now. You're like, you're like a 1920s landowner uh, traveling abroad in the Orient. You're like, why don't you dance for my boy? And you throw money at. That's who you are. That's who you nickel. are. <laughs> the thing is. They are, they're like, they're so committed to doing this, and they're so just, like, good at it. They got, like, battery packs, they charge it, so they, like, walk around and stream. Like, they walk around Korea, so it's like you're getting a world tour of Korea as well. And they even went to, like, the North Korean border, and everyone was like, uh... <laughs> Did they dance there? Should... Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they were like soldiers walking around and they were dancing. I'm telling you, this stream, it beats everything. It beats Total Biscuit. It beats Dodger. It beats them all. Best stream I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just imagined them at the border dancing around as a gunfight's going on. <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh, thank you for thank you for the donation. They start dancing. <laughs> And there's just a gun battle going. I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> it's amazing. Check them out. <laughs> Tell them Crendor sent you. You uh, just want to get free dances. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> and uh, mm-hmm. I don't even know how I got there. Uh, just Twitch. Twitch, yeah. Oh, yeah, TwitchCon. And, uh, I mean, like, at TwitchCon, yes. I always just imagine a lot of ego there as well. Uh, I was... I would have as well, but there wasn't. It was a lot of people who seemed really, really chill. So I'd say compared to VidCon, there was that. It wasn't nearly as like egotistical. Yeah. Everyone thought they were a streamer, but not in like a I'm famous way. It was like, hey, yeah, I stream like a community way. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, all right, it's not terrible. It's not bad. I don't know how many times I would go back with the like intention of staying a whole weekend. Yeah. But a day would be fine just to show up. I will like, say. Yo, what up? I watched the Twitch roasts, and the DJ Wheat one was all right. That was pretty good. Then the no. next night they did the roast of Miss Vixen, and it was just like it wasn't funny. They were just like, this was an actual thing. They are like, you know, you're old, and you don't get views, and you're just old. Why? And I was like, what? W- All right. What? <laughs> Miss Vixen. I don't know that I know this person. Miss Vixen. She doesn't look old at all. She looks like a normal... I don't get... The thing was like, they're her friends, too, calling her old. And then, like, they kept making pedophile jokes, too. What? And everyone was just like, crin- like they made three pedophiles. They're just like, I look. They're like, this person looks. Then they would be like, there's this other girl, and they're like, you look so young. And then she's like, well, you're my boyfriend, so you're like a pedophile. And it was like, what? Like, <laughs> I don't even. I don't know. It was just the cringiest chat was spamming cringe. I joined in. I put cringe in the chat. It was just so cringe. I can't. And- <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm looking this girl up. She seems. Like, perfectly normal, but I don't know. Here's my question. I just find you, all You roast cringy. people. You roast people who deserve to be roasted, right? So, DJ Wheat, he's risen to such a, a high level in Twitch that you have to roast his ass because what do you do, DJ Wheat? What do you do? No one knows what you do, <laughs> yeah. right? So, of course, even he, DJ. of course he's going to get roasted. I don't know. I mean, Miss Vixen, that's cool that they gave her an event. Yeah. I don't know... But it was just like they randomly picked her or something. Yeah, that's weird. Like they I don't know why. I felt like it was a thing that just didn't need to happen. Maybe we just and don't. Crendor, maybe we're maybe wrong we're, on this. Maybe, maybe we we're the wrong it. ones. Maybe and we just old. don't get it. Yeah, maybe we're too <laughs> old for, for Twitch. Maybe Miss Vixen is super popular and worthy of making fun of. But <laughs> all right, sure. Oh, yeah. What? what? I what? watched that thing you told me to watch in England. The Fear of 13. Yes, yes. That Isn't shit that was good? crazy. Right? And, like, it was just, like, this guy who just went to jail for, like, 30 years or death row. Mm-hmm. And then, and then you get, out. like, the back... Yeah, you get the backstory of what happened and how this guy just... Yeah, it's so crazy. It's such a crazy story. Yeah. Just, like, the stories that he, he tells about prison and, like, what he did and all these he's, things. Just like, he's fascinating. What? At the beginning, I was like, oh, this guy is a scumbag criminal. Yeah, and, and he's got kind as, of that, like, weird, like, very focused crazy. Yes. About but, when you, but when he talks, everything he says, I'm just like, I can listen to this guy tell stories for hours. Yeah. It's so he's weird. He's fascinating. And yeah, I'm, uh, the ending is definitely one of those twist surprise endings that I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, I saw that, and I was like, shit, dude. Shit, dude. Yeah. So Great I'm glad. I would say go watch it if you're listening right now. It's on Netflix. It's just yeah, it's little... on Netflix. Fear of Thirteen. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, well, man. Speaking of Netflix, I bombarded. I, I've gone through every episode of Luke Cage already. I love Luke that Cage. show. Yeah, Luke Cage is the new Marvel one. I haven't even seen that. Yeah, it's basically. Uh, in the same, you know, it's the same universe as Jessica Jones and Daredevil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's Luke Cage. It's the guy from Jessica Jones, and he has his own show, and he's badass, and it's thoroughly enjoyable. Shit, dude. So I've been That's watching so that. Things to watch. I know, right? I watched uh, the Degrassi second gen to see how okay. bad it was. Yeah, no, I wouldn't watch that. I wouldn't. It was very bad. No, I wouldn't watch that. It was very bad, but it's one of those things where it's so bad, you just want to watch more. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's possible that's the case. I also really like watching bad shows to make fun of them, but yeah. I'm trying to think if there's any bad shows that I've watched. Some. I've really not. I've avoided most of TV. Like, yeah. I, I, well, there's so much I want to watch, but I haven't. I'm like, mm, yeah. yeah. I have two. I will say that on Netflix, there's a bunch of sh- of documentaries on there that are all like creepy old men with. Young prostitutes, the show. 
<laughs> and all of them have one to two stars. So I'm like, oh, so it's it's mm-hmm. not dirty erotica. It's weird, like moral based. <laughs> like, oh yeah, these. those shows. I'm like, like we'll mm. follow this person on the street and see what happens and talk about their life. It's like I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really care. I just want to see some freaky shit happen. But all right, <laughs> whatever. Move on. Yeah, it's <laughs> another That's... good tombstone quote. <laughs> I just want to see some <laughs> freaky shit happen. <laughs> so I just want to see some freaky shit happen. <laughs> is that is that too much to ask? <laughs> That's all I want. Is that too much to ask in this world? <laughs> just to see some freaky shit happen. That's all I want. Uh, all right. Well, I think uh, that's a good time as any to head over to Chop the Comics. Oh, it's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> with Red Dog. How's that traffic out there? Uh, I just wanted to ask if you're okay. It sounds like you had a stroke down there. Uh, but I think you're fine. So Everything, Everything's good. great. Everything's great. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. <laughs> uh, traffic uh, today is looking pretty great. There is a backup on the 44 West uh, Jim Street 48. <laughs> And uh, I think that's going to delay traffic for about three to eight hours. So if you're trying to get somewhere, uh, it's going to take a while. So bust out your phone, start watching some Netflix or something, uh, or go to YouTube, look us up there. We're also there, you know, just check us out. We're available too. Uh, And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm in a chapter copter, so (laughs) I don't have any, uh, uh, what, what is that? I hear it. Uh, there's a warning sound or the wind. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> oh, it's just the beluga whale. Back to you. <laughs> what? 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 No, I was trying to make an owl noise. I didn't sound like an owl to you? No. No? It just sounded like you blowing into a bottle. No? All right, screw you. I tried. I tried so hard. I tried to make a bit happen, and you were like, what is that, a beluga whale? <laughs> yeah. Well, because the whale's like, <laughs> <laughs> Sure. All right, that was a whale is what that was. Have you heard the whales? No, whales are like, <laughs> Yeah, it's <was> close enough. <laughs> Those are whales. I know a lot of whales. I've talked to many whales. <laughs> whales, I have a lot of whale what friends. They sound like they're good people. I want to ship them out of here. <laughs> I know a lot of good whales. I'm just saying many of them that come into this country are criminals and rapists. And one of them's Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> That's we all agree on this. <laughs> Everyone knows it. I'm just saying what people are thinking. Did you hear what he said the other day? No, what, like what did, yesterday. What did he say now? <laughs> they're like Trump, because well, they people are finding things about his taxes, and they're like, I don't think he's paid taxes in like fifteen years, and so they're like, what do you have to say about that? He's like, I tell you what I'll say about Hillary, is that she's probably slept around. What? <laughs> yeah, what? and he's like, <laughs> you know, she's probably cheated on Bill, but I mean, really, can you blame her? <laughs> he did not just say that. He didn't say that. I'm telling you, he said it. (laughs) He said it. It was on the news. I was flipping through shit. I'm like, oh, the news is on. There's like, and Donald Trump said this today, and he said exactly that. I hope, I hope the next debate is literally just him being like, you and your husband sleep around with everyone, and her being like, you've married and divorced several women who you then cheated on, (laughs) and that becomes our presidential election. That pretty much is going to be our election. Like, where it's the two of them at the debate just yelling about who they boint. That's all I want. <laughs> That's all I want that to be. And then I want everyone to just simultaneously across the nation let out a sigh. I need uh, to... Hold on. I found it. It's 20 okay. seconds. I just want you to really just to hear it for all yourself. Right. Trump discusses Hillary. Here we go. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But why should she be? <laughs> and he kind of always does that, like, why? Like, what? what? Like, his little arm <laughs> movements of, like, eh. You know, <laughs> yeah. eh, eh, eh. like when she's like, Trump, pro- you probably even even paid your taxes in like eighty years. He's like, yeah, I'm smart. Yeah, yeah. too smart, too smart. <laughs> Why would Holy it? crap! This is what we've come to. This is, you know what? This is, you know what caused all this? Brexit. I blame the UK. Yeah, I you gotta blame the UK. I gotta blame one. the UK. If they if they hadn't made America to begin with, no, this would have been yeah. a problem. We would. Come on. If you hadn't gotten Europe. greedy, Britain, and decided to make some colonies, no, this would have been a problem. Yep, we would have been fine. You know, we could have, we could have even met the Native Americans peacefully later on. Crenor and I technically would probably even be Native American had there not yeah. been any colonies. That's true. Mm-hmm. I would have had a badass mohawk and been fit as shit because I like ride horses and fucking like kill buffalo and shit that's the stereotype i'm so sorry but that's the way i'd be because i'd be fucking badass and crendor would be like uh one of them old wise dudes with a a pipe i like how my knowledge of native american culture is from 1950s movies it just sounds like another movie that like nick cage would be in oh my god nick cage yeah as they just they just give him some like tanner and be like you're an indian now nick cage I just want to be, I just want to, or I don't want to be in it. I want to see a movie with Nick Cage and Matthew McConaughey. As Native Americans. Mm Mm-hmm. In a remake of The Last Mohicans. It's like, we need to find the ancient Native tribes that have conquered our (laughs) land. And then he's like, all right, all right, all right. (laughs) (laughs) I would love that movie. That'd be an amazing movie. (laughs) I'd be there opening day, the only one in the theater. (laughs) I'd be ready. There haven't even been many good movies lately. Oh, I haven't gone to the movie theater lately. I really haven't either. There's been a few movies I've been meaning to see where I was like, oh, I'll go see that, and just have not. Yeah. Like, I haven't gone. And I'm like, oh, I'd go see that movie, and just never went. Yeah, I've I've done that for a few movies as well. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to see that. And it's just like, you know, whatever. Yeah, I can't remember the last movie I actually went to the theater to see. Yeah. I just are can't. There, are there any good oh, movies? Oh, I do. It was uh, uh, that one with the, you know, the girl, <laughs> the girl with the baseball bat. <laughs> oh, you know, the squad. Suicide Squad. <laughs> <laughs> the girl with the bat. I would have loved if you'd have been like, a league of their own? <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> that was the last time I saw a movie. <laughs> it was when Madonna and Rosie O'Donnell play baseball together. A League of Their Own with Gina Davis. <laughs> with Gina Davis, A League of Their Own. I think the last movie I saw in the theater was Warcraft. Was I, it Warcraft? Maybe. I think it was Warcraft. I can't. I can't remember the last time I was. I there. didn't I think see Suicide it. Squad. I didn't see. Yeah, and then just, just I'm looking through. There's nothing. Well, you know what? Coming up, this Star is, Wars. That is true. Hold on. There is, there's got to be, IMDb Nicolas Cage. Got to be some movies coming up that are worth there's our gotta time. There's got to be. Okay, so first off, uh, there's a movie called Pay the Ghost coming out. No, it did okay. come out. Pay the Ghost. Pay the Ghost. Uh, a professor frantically searches for his son who was abducted during a Halloween parade. <laughs> <laughs> which I guess that's the ghost and Pay the Ghost. Yeah. Uh, the trust. A pair of cops. Oh shit! This is the one that has Elijah Wood in it. What? A pair of cops investigating a drug invasion stumble upon a mysterious bank vault. That's the one I wanted to see, but I never saw. Crendor, we oh, gotta go find this movie and watch this shit. We gotta find this movie. It's an hour and thirty-two minutes of crime thrillerness from May thirteenth, two thousand sixteen. Holy shit! We need to find this movie. We need to find this movie. I am. Here's the so thing. Ready? What? It has a fifty. It has an above a fifty on Metascore on Metacritic. Oh my god, it's got to be good. It's got to be good. <laughs> it's got to be good. Then the next one is Dog Eat Dog. A crew of ex-cons are hired by a Cleveland mafioso, the Cleveland Mafia, you know they're tough, <laughs> to kidnap the baby of a rival mobster. Holy shit, Nicholas Cage and Willem Dafoe are in this one. Oh my what god. What is happening? What is this called again? Dog Eat Dog. Dog Eat Dog. Then, was he in Snowden? What? It says he was in Snowden. Who'd he play in Snowden? <laughs> what? 
He's not even listed on the cast. Who did Nicolas Cage play in Snowden? <laughs> get out of town. He's just there. They put him on. No. get Nicolas Cage was Hank Forrester in Snowden. Get out of town. He got a real role in a real movie. Damn, dude. Go. go. Good for you, Nick Cage. He is Captain McVeigh on USS Indianapolis Men of Courage. The harrowing true story of the crew of the USS Indianapolis who were stranded in the uh, Philippine Sea for five days after delivering atomic weapons that would eventually end World War II. Hmm. Thirst, extreme hunger, and relentless shark attacks. Nope, not watching that movie. Wait, what? Army of One. He plays Gary Faulkner, an American civilian that sets out on his own to find Osama bin Laden. Holy shit. <laughs> and the why, oh do I feel like, why do I feel like that's a real story? And, and the not... only picture on the IMDb is that one of him riding a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that movie. Holy shit. <laughs> you know, I, I like how they say it's about this other guy, but we all know <laughs> Nicolas Cage went went to go find Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> yeah. Gary Faulkner. That's not even a real name. That was Nicolas Cage who went to go find Osama Bin Laden. We all know that's true. We all know that shit's true. Oh my God, he's also filming something called Mom and Dad. A teenage girl and her little brother must survive a wild 24 hours during which a mass hysteria of unknown origins causes parents to turn violent against their own kids. Holy shit. I like this one. Uh, Southern Fury. A southern mobster attempts to rescue his kidnapped brother. Sorry, Nicholas Cage and John Cusack. Well, you know that shit's going to be amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, my God. And Adrian Grenier, the dude from that show that people said was good, but I hated. What show? The one that was on HBO, you know, where they were all douchebags, and they had the douchebag agent. Oh, they all... Ballers? <laughs> no, not <laughs> Ballers. The one before Ballers. Uh, Entourage. Oh, Entourage. Same show. Same show. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that looks like a bunch of garbage. We need to watch. We need to watch The Trust, though. We need to watch. We need to trust, find that yeah. movie immediately. And Army of One. When <laughs> yeah, does Army, Army of, of One, One come out? Because that is effing in theaters <laughs> November fourth. Oh shit! It's a Crendor month from now. Crendor November fourth is when is BlizzCon? I think that's during BlizzCon. Yo, what if the Disney the <laughs> Disney theater was showing that movie, and instead of going to BlizzCon, we just wanted to go see Army of oh One? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That is. This Amazing. says in theaters November 11th. Oh, wait, no, that's Dog Eat Dog. Dude, he's got movies every he's week. He's got movies just back <laughs> to back. <laughs> Holy shit. He's, he's in every movie. Nick Cage is in every mm. movie right now. Or we can just go right when BlizzCon ends. Yeah. Also, uh, that was the weather. Uh, that wasn't the weather. That was the traffic. Oh, shit. Well, now we're <laughs> on the weather. Welcome to the weather, yes. <laughs> uh, Whoppy, tell us the weather. Weather activated. Four, five, four, four, one. Weather activated? Dayton, Ohio. Oh, hometown. Boop, 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 boop. Temperature, 70 degrees. Clear, feels like 70 degrees. Fahrenheit, high, low, 62. UV index, zero of 10. Tomorrow, 81 degrees. Fahrenheit. Like, this is like another statement. Faraday. <laughs> He's getting back on track now, though. He's working it. He's working his magic, working. I believe. Just got to keep tweaking. He'll be yeah. ready to go any day. Just, just got to keep tweaking. Just got to keep, keep tweaking. tweaking. <laughs> <laughs> just got to keep tweaking. Just got to keep tweaking him. He's he's weather activating is what he's doing. Weather activate. Yep. Yep. Uh, that's weather. All right. And what's happening in sports? In sports news, we had a bunch of crazy stuff going on. This is when all the sports start kicking into high gear. Hockey's in the preseason. NBA's in the preseason. Uh, the NFL's been rolling. The Minnesota Vikings are 4-0. and 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 the uh, I think they're the only 4-0 and team in the league. Uh, 
Also, the guy in the Giants, Odell Beckham, has been going crazy, and he says, I'm not having fun because all the media is focusing their attention on him. Wait, so he's just, like, getting picked on for having blonde hair? I don't understand. I don't understand. No, he's getting picked on for his, like, terrible attitude, and everyone knows it, so the other teams are taking advantage of it. So, like, they're oh. trying to get him to, like, play badly, and they are. So they keep doing it. And he's like, this is dumb. And he starts freaking out even more. And they're just like, dude, you need to calm down. Dude is 23 years old playing in the NFL. And he's yeah. like, oh, I don't like it here. <laughs> Bro, you're living a dream. Like a, a dream people would die for. He was on the cover for. of Madden last year. Madden curse. The Madden curse. Oh, the shit. Madden curse. Damn, the Madden curse hitting him hard. Yep. And then... uh. Packers, Packers won last week. They had a bye week this week, though. That's the main thing. Oh, yeah, the Broncos are 4-0 as well. But big <laughs> news. The big news is baseball. Cubs. Cubs are going to do it. Cubs are going to win the World Series this year. I don't year. think so. I don't think They're so. They're going to do it. Best record in baseball. Where are you over getting your information? Wins. That, doesn't, that Me. doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. I'm the information. You're the information? <laughs> yeah. That, you, that sounds like the worst line in an action film. <laughs> well, you get your information from. <laughs> I'm the information. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I'm the information. Cubs, 103 wins, only 58 losses. Best record in baseball. They're awesome. They got home field advantage throughout the playoffs. This is it. I don't know. I don't think get so. Ready. I don't got think it. so. Nope. Yeah, they got it. Nope, strongly disagree. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. And that's, and that's sports, yeah. <laughs> okay, Crendor, we have so many big news stories that people have sent us. Yes. What is our big news story of the day? Well, the big news story I found was this brawl in Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you did send me a link to this last night, yeah. and I did watch it, and it is amazing. <laughs> this is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. So... Yeah, all these people just start brawling in Chuck E. Cheese. Just like all these people are fighting, like 20, 30 people. And apparently the story is a video of brawl at Florida Chuck E. Cheese shows adults acting like kids. Crystal Jimenez was fast on the record button on Saturday when a massive fist fight broke out at a Miami area Chuck I just E. Wanna, Cheese. I just want to point out, for those of you who are trying to envision what this fist fight looks like, this fight was not just one or two people fighting it mm -hmm. was like person a and b fighting and then person b and c start squabbling and then yeah. someone attacks c and then person e and f start fighting for no reason and yeah. then person like j starts jump kicking a thing and you're like what is it was pandemonium so much crazy shit it was on. pandemonium <laughs> and uh Jimenez, uh whipped out her cell phone recorded all the shit she told Miami Herald, the fight started because one person was looking at another and instigating a problem when they went up to them and their families got involved. That makes no sense. That but makes yeah. no sense mm -hmm. whatsoever. Jimenez said she believed that some of the brawlers were drunk, despite Chuck E. Cheese having a two-drink limit. <laughs> what? I didn't even know they had alcohol at Chuck I didn't Cheese. either. It's like a kid's place. <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> if you're getting shit-faced at Chuck E. Cheese, you got problems. You, you, got need, pro to, you, need, you need to find Jesus. You need to get problems. It's like, first off, you just, you're just you getting shit-faced in the afternoon at Chuck E. Cheese. And on top of that, you're getting in brawls at Chuck E. Cheese. I can't believe it. Someone looked at someone wrong. And then a massive, disproportionate fight broke out. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's every... I can't even describe it. It's insanity. It's 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 like you're watching a ridiculous spoof movie of what world a fight star, should look world like. Star. <laughs> it's exactly right. It's <laughs> World Star, World Star. It's like a Black Friday thing. Just picture that, but in a Chuck E. Cheese. It's it's crazy. Yeah. People are fighting for no reason. <laughs> I'm telling you, watch if you find the video, watch the background. There are people in the background just fighting who are not involved in the main yeah. fight. There's guys like jump kicking the ball pit and shit. Yeah. It makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't even know. There's like people running around. Kids are running around. People are just like, hey, what are you doing? Andrew, where are you? Andrew. If you're, 
if you ever want to see the downfall of society, <laughs> if you ever were curious what the end of mankind would look like, it's that fight at a Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Back People when are I, just attacking each other for no reason. Back when I was a kid, now I went to Chuck E. Cheese. You know, you just played some games, you hung out with your friends, and the parents gossiped about other people. That was yeah, it. And then and then you watch the weird animatronic cheese man. <laughs> yeah. You're like, <laughs> da, 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 da. they yeah. all dance on the thing. Like we're singing yeah. songs that are not licensed to you. <laughs> it yeah. is your birthday. Boy or girl. You. Boy or girl. <laughs> that's how I remember the Simpsons thing, did that. Yeah. And that's it. And you're like, sweet, eat pizza, you go home. Yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. I don't I don't know what uh, has changed, but Chuck E. Cheese sounds like a hell of a place to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. So, do, I mean, we have, do we have any other stories? Any other big stories that have happened? Uh, Let's see. Steve Young had weird encounter with Cupid referee. You don't care. Come on. Come on. How about Yahoo? Yahoo's got it. Are you sure? We, I mean, we could always go back to Florida Man. Florida Man tries to steal yacht, fails, and partially <laughs> sinks it. <laughs> Florida Man enjoys buffet, tries to walk out on $8 bill. <laughs> Florida man accused of fatal face biting, attacked, booked in jail. <laughs> Florida man 34 busted for slapping girlfriend in the face with sex toy. <laughs> Florida man attacks neighbor with weed eater. I mean, there's so many here. Oh my god, I found it. <laughs> <laughs> is, it is it this one? Florida man apparently painting anti-Hillary messages on Tampa Bay crabs. <laughs> and, uh, and on this one crab it says, Hillary is a lying bitch. <laughs> I think that's the one. <laughs> He's just going around. He's just going around. Oh my God, there's no article here. Where's the article? <laughs> got to be an article. <laughs> it just says, Florida it. man is apparently painting anti-Hillary messages <laughs> on Tampa Bay crabs. And there's a photo of a crab that says Hillary is a lying bitch. <laughs> where? Where? Wait. Where is I this story? It. I found it. Okay. Red State and Federalist contributor Brandon Morse found a surprising political bent to the crustaceans he is after when he went crabbing last week in Tampa Bay. One of the crabs he caught had been sharpied on, and on its underside, its message, not very kind. Hillary is a lying bitch. Though the region is across the country from both party conventions as well as its going-ons in D.C., it appears to have a lively crusta crustacean population that's as glued to the election cycle as we humans. <laughs> it simply <laughs> confounded this crab hunter. Morse cited... Wait, more sidestep talking with the reporter from the Tampa Bay Times in favor of letting crab advocates speak for the anti-Hillary Clinton creature, retweeting statements in an attempt to gain insight into this undeserved undersea demographic. Responses range from hungry to woke. Uh, so he said, the crab people rise. Someone responded, how can you be so politically aware and yet also so delicious? <laughs> Ever stop to think that maybe the crab paid for that tattoo? The it's crab possible. people are key Republican demographics. I here. can't believe nobody <laughs> is taking this seriously. This article is like, you know, the crab people wink. Someone is going around Florida <laughs> yeah. writing on crabs. <laughs> I want to meet why, that guy. <laughs> why, why do news stories never cover the actual news? They never Someone get to the bottom. Someone is going of it. around Florida. Writing on crabs! <laughs> like, is it just a normal guy? Is it, like, one of Trump's kids? Is it's, it Trump? Trump is it... <laughs> <laughs> Trump's just in Florida, like, bring me crabs so I can write on them. <laughs> Hillary Clinton is a lying bitch. There we go, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> Why is no one covering the fact that there's a man in Florida writing on crabs? Yeah. Or is it just, like, a homeless guy? Maybe he's getting paid to do it? There's like, is this the thing that happens in yeah, Florida right. all the time? Just they are so used to people writing on crabs? I mean, most people are busy fighting at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> so. There we go. Full circle. <laughs> Full the circle. perfect That's episode. All right. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this episode. We'll see you next time. And as always, to be continued. Uh -huh.